but that doesn't <laughs> where we started before. Looking back, I can trace it. What, what is looking back? We'll find out as the story progresses. Okay. It was like, looking back, I can trace it, and your mind goes, what, 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 what? What's he going to tell us next? Okay, press the button to start, please. Yep. Looking back, I can trace it. I first noticed something was wrong out on my motorbike when overtaking on the wide road. Suddenly, there was a car 200 yards in front of me, right in front of my eyes. So just thinking about that moment before your diagnosis, when you're on your bike and you were pulling out and then suddenly... Due to my diagnosis of dementia and Parkinson's disease, I lost my two main pleasures, my hobby and my work. At my work as an accountant, I started to have difficulty processing large amounts of data and sources, and my handwriting was also deteriorating. How do you stop yourself spiralling down? To tell you the truth, I haven't found that. Um, probably because I was, uh, as soon as um, diagnosis, I was into to one of the groups and then into another group, etc. And um, because because that happened fairly quickly, it didn't uh, give me time to be too negative. And, and quite honestly, I've been pretty busy being part of uh, the group is uh, very important. On the whole, I feel like I've been treated really well by my friends and professional contacts, with the one exception of the HMRC person who hung up on me. <laughs> now I find I am more emotional, which is a good thing. It's given me a feeling of freedom of letting go. I cry very easily. For example, when watching the TV, my wife finds this very amusing. I still drive a car, as when it stops, it doesn't fall over. One of my happiest moments is sitting in my conservatory with my dog Benji as the sun rises. Stroking his fur, I feel calm. <laughs>